Hi Blues, welcome back to Blue Moon Rising TV. City won 4-0 at the weekend against Villa and I think we're all pretty happy with that and how can you not be happy with a 4-0 win? But at the same time, it was kind of one of those unwinnable games in that anything except a hammering of Villa and people would have uh, had the knives out for City, I think. And in fact, it getting to 0-0 at half time, people were getting a bit mm, nervous. I was. I think we had a lot of chances which we spurned. Wilfred Boney, number one culprit, I think he didn't get a lot of love from the crowd on Saturday. And you've got to wonder how many chances he's going to keep getting before Kalecci, who seems to just have like the odd five, 10 minutes, 15 here and there, and will score goals left, right and centre. So you wonder how much more time, how much more faith Boney's going to get from Pellegrini and if Guardiola is going to give him a chance in summer or if he's maybe seen enough already. Is time up for Boney? Let me know in the comments below. A good element of it was um, that Aguero scored two. So it's great to see Aguero hitting some form again. Um, he missed the penalty, but that happens. He scored the penalty that mattered, which was uh, against Liverpool at Wembley. So we'll let him off this one. Um, and yeah, like I said, he scored two anyway, so that's fine. Um, we really need Aguero to power us through. We need all our big players to lift us up um, for this last little run in. Um, so we picked up points, the teams around us, some of them dropped points. So the ones sort of nearest to us, your Spurs and Arsenal, they drew against each other, which is probably the perfect result. Arsenal getting a red card, that's like if Carlsberg made that match. Perfect. Picking up some red cards along the way as well. United got beat, another red card there, brilliant. Um, Mata, one of their best players, so that's fantastic. Um, the, obviously the big problem and the most probably upsetting was that um, Leicester won again and they keep winning and they keep winning away from home in little ties that you think you, know, you could maybe see them losing some points, dropping some points at Watford, but it wasn't to be. It's going to look very, it's looking very difficult to be able to catch up Leicester now. I don't know. Um, Elliot said on the fan cams that if we keep picking up points and then other teams around us and Leicester's drop points, then maybe he'll start to believe. But at the moment, I think we're just focusing on, well, top four really. If we get second or third, We've won a trophy, we're in Europe for Guardiola, that's essential. Let's wait a little bit before I start getting to, uh, too excited about the league. Now, the main talking point I wanted to talk with you guys about, and I want to know your opinions on, and it's a big one, and I never want to talk about this really. It's a horrible thing to even have to imagine. It's related to what Pellegrini said about David Silva after the game on Saturday. And that's that he's not injured, but he's still playing with pain. So it sounds like it's almost chronic now. So it's something he can't even get over with the pains in his, his ankle. He gets injured and even when he gets back, he's still playing through pain. So this is worrying. I mean, how long is this going to keep affecting him? Is it forever now? Is he just always going to play with pain? And if it is affecting his performances and he's not had the best season, we all know that, but he is one of the best players that have ever worn a City shirt. I think he's the best player I've ever seen play for City. Um, and he's a legend and he's always been consistent, but he's having a horrible season this season compared to his very, very high standards. And he's having to play a lot of games because De Bruyne has been out, Nasri's been out. He's our only really creative option down the middle um, in the, that sort of central attacking role. So he's played a lot of games as well. So is that it? If he gets a bit more rest, do you think that he'll maybe start to, we'll see his old self again? I know he made two assists at the weekend, but still not up there to where he normally is. Um, so what do you think? If he keeps playing through with pain and he can't get over this, some people are saying that maybe he has to go. I do not want to think about a Manchester City without David Silva selling him. It's um, obviously one day it's going to happen, but pff, this soon? Mm, I don't know. That would be a really, really sad day. Let me know what you think. Uh, is David Silva someone that we should just keep until he retires? If he's not playing to his uh, best ability and he's always injured, do we sell him? Will you want to go back to Spain? Who knows? Let me know what you think. Drop a like on the video. It's a very difficult topic, but I want to know your opinions in the comments. Let me know. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. Walter's going to have a video for you tomorrow, so look out for that. See you in a bit.